just finished watching is basically a performance I did at my house and I also got finished today with this separate video or this separate part of the video um, doing the same thing at my recital class uh, for Seminole State College I love it there and my professor professor Diana Campbell is phenomenal you should check her out on the website I will put the link below Basically, she had the thing. She had the following things to say, and then I'm, and then I will also give myself like a grade between this performance and the recital performance. She said that first off, I had a decent slash phenomenal um, retardando at the part where I should have done it in this video. In this video. And I didn't, for whatever reason, because I didn't notice it until my piano teacher had to point it out to me. Um, she thought that my she thought that my hand placement for the notes was quite balanced. I think that's how she worded it. I don't know. Um, and she also said that the melody was not as weighty. I did not put as much weight on the melody as I did the bass for certain parts, and so I need to work on that. Honestly, those comments are all completely fair, and for the most part, here's what I'd like to grade myself for the performance you saw, and then the performance I did at the recital. First, for the performance at the recital, I'd give myself like a 75%. Technically, I would have given myself 70, but I'm just going to add the 5% because the mistakes I did make, I was able to correct quite well. And I made a, quite a few of them, so it's... I, I basically caught myself every time I made a mistake, fixed it, and was able to continue on. On top of that, um, I just did not feel... A, I felt more scatterbrained when I was playing that performance versus the one you saw. In the one you saw, at least it was fresh in my mind, and I had the practice in, and it helped me. Uh, it didn't. Help, it helped me for the most part in the recital performance. Um, but I could have done with some warming up. But I will say this: another thing that helped phenomenally, which is why, which is another reason why I'm giving myself that five percent is because I stretched out my fingers and um, stretched out my arms a little bit, my wrists uh, just stretched and kept the stretching going so that my hands and fingers would be as relaxed as possible when the time came and I wouldn't feel too stiff. Although honestly the stiffness might have helped because um, those keys were very sticky on that piano, uh, or at least sticky compared to the ones I've been practicing at school and the one I have here at this house. Uh, it's not my house though, I'm still living with my parents, so uh, anyways. Basically, those are the reasons why I gave myself a 75 for this, and I'm giving myself a 90% out of 100 for the risk. For the video you saw because I made far fewer mistakes I was able to keep up with it quite decently the only thing I wish I would have done differently was having more rhythmic accuracy for certain parts um, I was able to as well as just keeping with a better tempo because I do remember one particular part when I was just when I just went too fast with the beat um, so those are the, my only two things why I, 
gave myself a 90 for this performance and that's why I gave myself a 75 for the recital. If you liked what you saw in this video as well as my explanation and how it went, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below with the notifications bell on for more videos like this, especially since I'm using this channel to not only spread music but also spread my journey uh, as I continue on in my progress with piano on top of voice. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.